Hi, Adias here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Phantom so you can not only call up a scene that you have customized with maybe a split or a layer, but then you can use keyboard switch group to have a whole different section of the scene set up so you can do solos quickly. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to use one that I created called Supa Dupa Sols. Okay, so first off, I'm going to go into zone view and I'll hit it twice so you can kind of see and let's give it a listen. Okay, so I like using Super Saws uh, live for a lot of different types of music, maybe some of the rock or the funk kind of music. But here's what happens live. You might set up a nice layer split for your main sounds, but then the band leader might say, hey, take a solo. And then at that point, I need to decide, do I exit out of here and find another scene or do I go to a chain and find some kind of scene that I have for layers and splits? What do I do? Well, here's what I would suggest that you do. Inside the Phantom, if we go to pad mode, press pad mode right here, one of the options we can choose to lock into the particular scene is keyboard switch group. So I have mine set for keyboard switch group. And if I go shift and pad mode, you can see very quickly that I have group one is set to turn on those three zones, which is the main focus of my scene, the super duper sauce. Now in group 15 and group 16, you see I have some different combinations. So let's take a listen to those now. So I'm gonna put it in zone view, which you don't have to do for live, but here in the video, it'll be easier for you to see what I'm doing. Now zone view, once again as a review, can have one zone, four zones, eight zones or all 16 zones. So I think let's try you doing it here for four zones so you can see uh, very easily. So I'm gonna hit keyboard switch group number one and that one, if we take a look, turns on my three zones, zone one, zone two, and zone three. So that's my super duper sauce. If we go over to some of the other ones, we see that I have different leads already set up. So in keyboard switch group 13, I have that juicy JP. In 14, I have the ripping mini. In 15, I have uh, number nine, which is the juicy uh, JP and also the chubby lead together. And then on Keyboard switch group 16, I have, so you can see, I have four turned on. I have uh, my number 9, 10, 11, and 12. So that's Juicy JP, Ripping Mini, Chubby Lead, and a Bell Lead all together. So four zones at once. So now you see in a live gigging situation, if I'm playing my saw sound, and I get called to do a solo, I don't have to leave that scene. I can press any number of those keyboard switch groups. So I just press 16 if I want to have all four of those different leads. Do my solo and then I can go back to keyboard switch group one and, and go back to my original focus of my scene. Now the way I did that was very easy. So first off, once I saved the main focus of my scene, and this one was about the saws, it was about the poly saws uh, three, the synth eight, and the poly saw two. I just layered them together. Once they're layered, I went ahead and went into pad mode, made sure that I selected keyboard switch group, and then I went in there and I wrote that to the scene. Now, if I don't write the keyboard switch group to the scene, it will not save. Remember, whenever you do something in your Phantom in the scenes, there'll be a little yellow asterisk that'll come up and it's up to you to save it at that point. So I went ahead and said, yeah, I wanna go ahead and save that. So scene, and I already pre-named it, and I'll say okay, and I saved it. Now to save the other portion, since it's already in keyboard switch group, I just went to the keyboard switch groups, hit shift, pad mode, so I can start editing. So I chose group 13, and I went ahead and pressed the edit, and then I went ahead and turned on those zones. Uh, pretty easy, once I was in there, and that's what I was editing, and I can exit and go back into my zone view and find the sound that I wanted to lock into that particular zone. So give this a shot, this is a great thing to do for live. 
not only come up with a great scene and you can have a scene with up to 16 zones but this way you can go ahead and have your scene designate for particular sections of the scene so in my example i had remember once again uh, keyboard switch group one turned on three zones one two three and then i had keyboard switch group turn on one zone which was nine i had keyboard switch group 14 turn on 10 which was designated to drums but i switched it and then 15 i had turn on zone 9 and 11 and then keyboard switch group 16 i had it turn on uh, zone 9 through 12. so give this a shot this is a little bit more advanced but it's something if you're playing live you're gonna love all right check this out i hope it helps you out you guys take care and i'll talk to you later